China's Change of Four mission has successfully started growing plants on the moon. Cotton seeds can be seen sprouting in a photo released by the China National Space Administration CNSA. The mission took a variety of seeds to the moon as part of its biosphere experiment, and this marks the first time ever that biological material has been cultivated on the lunar surface. Other biological matter on the Change of Four mission includes cotton, oilseed rape, potato, Arabidopsis, yeast and fruit flies. More plants are expected to sprout in the next 100 days, the Chinese Space Agency claims. Developing the ability to grow plants in space, is an important step toward successful long-duration spaceflight to Mars and beyond. The picture emerged after being released has come from Chongqing University and was published on the university's Weibo account. It read, after experimenting under the moon's high vacuum, large temperature difference, strong radiation and harsh conditions, mankind has grown the first plant sprout, realizing man's first moon-based biological growth experiment. Images sent back by the probe show the cotton sprout has grown well, but so far none of the other plants on board have taken, the university said. Fruit flies, also known as Drosophila, are a model organism widely used throughout science to understand how animals react in different environments. Their short reproduction time is useful in allowing scientists to understand its genetic impact after several generations of reproduction. Arabidopsis, a simple plant related to the mustard family, is the plant equivalent of Drosophila and also widely used by scientists. The studies on these pioneering plants are being done in a specially designed biosphere on the Change of Four lander, and not on the mobile rover, U-2. It has greater temperature regulation and insulation which protects its experiments from the extreme temperatures on the Moon. A lack of atmosphere means the UV rays from the Sun reach the surface of the Moon unfiltered and unabated. Temperatures fluctuate between highs of 127 degrees Celsius, and frigid lows of minus 173 degrees Celsius. The seeds and eggs are kept in a small cylindrical tin and are expected to grow inside the 0.8L container. The lunar mini-biosphere is part of Beijing's biological studies in space, as it plans to build a lunar base and eventually put people on the moon by 2036. Researchers hope the potato and Arabidopsis seeds will grow to blossom on the moon in 100 days, with a process captured on camera and transmitted to Earth, according to a previous reports. The 6.6-pound .6 tin is made from a specially developed aluminium alloy. It is 7 inches tall, with a diameter of 6 inches, and a net volume of 1.4 pints, 0.8 liters. As well as seeds, it contains water, a nutrient solution, air and equipment including a small camera and data transmission system. Researchers from 28 Chinese universities are behind the project, led by Southwest China's Chongqing University. Astronauts have previously cultivated plants on the International Space Station. Rice and Arabidopsis were also grown on China's Tiangong-2 space lab. Professor Christopher Consalis, a professor of astrophysics at the University of Nottingham, told Mail Online, China is doing experiments with seeds and worms to see how things form in space, and there is relatively little information on this. That's a new Rs of space exploration which we can learn about which was impossible before change of 4. Speaking to Xinhua last year, the chief designer of the lunar mini-biosphere Zi Zhengxin called the experiments significant. Zi said, it could herald a breakthrough for them to understand how humans might be able to survive on an alien planet. Zhang Yuangxin, a director from China's Deep Space Exploration Associated Research Center, said the difficulties of the experiment was to control the temperatures, and ensure energy supply for the lunar mini-biosphere in the complicated environment on the Moon. The lunar day and night each lasts for 14 days, half of its orbit around Earth. The temperatures on its surface could range from the peak of 127 degrees Celsius to lows of minus 173 degrees Celsius. To control the temperatures, scientists put insulating layers around the tin, and built a mini air conditioning system inside, hoping it could provide a pleasant environment for the plants to grow. To obtain energy, the tin will be powered by the solar panels on Change of 4 during the day and its internal batteries during the night. Change of 4 is also equipped with instruments developed by scientists from Sweden, Germany and China to study the lunar environment, cosmic radiation and the interaction between solar wind and the moon's surface. 
China has revealed it wants to be the first country to establish a base on the moon, and says it will build it using 3D printing technology. Officials from the Chinese space agency also said, the country will return to the moon by the end of the year with the change of five mission. Three successive missions will further explore the barren surface and the viability of building houses there. China is swiftly establishing a reputation as one of the forerunners in the renaissance of the space race, with its continued investment in both Martian and lunar missions. After Change of 5 returns lunar rocks from the surface the next mission, Change of 6 will be the first mission to explore the south pole of the moon. Change of 7 will study the land surface, composition and space environment in a comprehensive mission, it was claimed, while Change of 8 will focus on technical surface anal. Mission number 8 will likely lay the groundwork for a potential lunar base as it strives to verify the technology earmarked for the ambitious project. China National Space Administration said, they also have plans to go to Mars in 2020, a timeline that would likely make them the first to do so, beating out the US, Russia and the plethora of private firms looking to colonize space. China successfully achieved a global first with its trip to the far side of the moon when it landed in the von Karman crater on January 4. The mission's scientific undertakings are now well underway on board both U-2 and Chang'e 4. U-2, the Jade Rabbit rover, went into nap mode shortly after landing on the surface of the far side of the moon and woke up after five days. Since then it has sent back stunning panoramic images of the gray and pockmarked moonscape as well as video and images of both the rover and the lander. U-2 is designed to study the geology of the rocks in the von Karman crater in the South Pole Aitken Basin, the largest known impact basin in the solar system. The crater is believed to be composed of various chemical compounds, including thorium, iron oxide, and titanium dioxide. It is also hoped that by judging this deep scar on the surface of the moon, the scientists could find clues to piece together the origin of the lunar mantle. China's space agency hopes that by exploring the huge 8-mile deep divot on the surface of the moon, they may be able to shed some light on its history and geology by collecting rocks that have never been seen before. Researchers hope the huge depth of the crater will allow them to study its mantle, the layer underneath the surface of the moon.